Hey guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a advice video for studying for finals and exams because it's coming up soon. So I made a list on my phone of things that I do and things that I've researched. Also, I'm like sweating right now, but okay. A few moments later. So first thing I recommend when you're going in to start studying and everything is turn off your cell phone or put it on do not disturb because it's a big distraction and if you think you're not gonna get distracted you are because like when you hear a notification it's human nature to want to check it and whatever or not human nature but it's like you know. Next I recommend is using a planner. I have always used a planner in school. Um, I would die without it. I keep everything organized. I write down literally everything. Everything that needs to get done, all the due dates, I highlight them and things like that. I like planning it out, writing to-do lists. So like the next thing I would recommend is making a list of everything that needs to get done. So especially on weekends, on like Sunday, I will write down everything that has to get done before the next day because usually I procrastinate over the weekend. But um, next thing is plan when you want to study. So I recommend making a study schedule, which is what I'm going to do because my finals are in a couple of weeks and then I have AP exams. Um, sorry, I'm like really hot. I need to roll up my sleeves. Okay, AP exams right after that. So yeah, make a study schedule um, because you're going to feel overwhelmed if you have to take on everything at once and so yeah next thing i would recommend is organizing the material into units or concepts or chapters or whatever so that it feels less intimidating when you're going to study so i already know like for my math class it's already broken into units for my science class it's already done like that um but for other subjects i guess like i take ap french so I would break it up into the specific units and things I need to study, I guess. Um, something that you can do is for study, like, okay, now you're going to study. Um, take notes if you have a textbook, read through it if you have PowerPoints that your teacher gives you. Take notes on everything because writing it down helps you remember it more. And if you don't like just taking plain notes or whatever, um, make flashcards or for my math class, our teacher makes us do this, but I'm so glad that she does. We make concept cards. So it's literally every single thing throughout the year that we learned, they're summarized on little index cards. And it's so helpful because when it comes to tests and things like that, it's just like all the information's right there, that like the basic information that you need to know. So that was really helpful. And we use a lot of colors and highlighters in that class, which I really like. So if you're a visual learner or like you like organizing things like that, I would recommend that too. Now as for like consistency, I recommend reviewing your notes daily if you can. Just like spend a little time every single day leading up to your exam, reviewing like the important concepts and things like that. Um, and then this is something that I don't like doing, but I know I need to do is answering questions that I didn't get the first time. So like when our t my teachers make us do test corrections in class, like I dread it because it's like I didn't understand it. So now you actually have to work to understand it. But it's really helpful because most likely a similar question is going to be on the test or exam. So I would rev not only review your past quizzes if your teacher gives them back, but ask to go in like before school, after school to do test corrections because usually they don't give your test back. But yeah. Next thing you could do is get together with friends or a study group. Um, except I recommend not going with like a couple of your best friends just because usually you get off topic and you start talking about things and then you get distracted and nothing gets done. So maybe go with people that are in your class that you don't know really well because you're all like striving to get a good grade on this test. Um, or just take one friend with you and most likely, most likely you'll get your work done faster. 
now let's talk about anxiety because I know that I get really stressed out. Oh, I'm sorry, my like feet hurt. I'm like trying to balance. Okay, um, I get really stressed out easily, especially about school. Um, but I've been better about managing my stress and anxiety. So things that you can do is listen to soothing music. When I wake up and when I go to sleep, I listen to podcasts, like motivational podcasts. And when I go to sleep, actually I listen to like sleep meditation, like affirmation kind of things. <laughs> And it really helps, like you go to sleep feeling good, you wake up feeling good. You just need to find ways that help you de-stress and release the negative thoughts because you're not going to do well on a test if you're distracted and you're stressed and you're like really anxious. Um, so like things that I do to de-stress is work out, obviously. Um, I journal, I read sometimes, but only when I have time. And really just listening to music or podcast that really helps me okay next thing that I recommend is working somewhere other than your room my mom always told me to not like study or do homework in my bed just because you get tired and it's just like such a comfortable place that you're not in like the work mindset so I either do work sitting in this chair it's that's like my kitchen area or sometimes I'll sit on this couch which isn't like the best of us, but like I'm out here so I do my work. Or I have um, this like business center in the other part of my apartment complex. So I'll go there sometimes because it's just like a nice study space or you can go to the library or things like that. Okay, next, I already kind of mentioned this, but take breaks. You can't study and memorize everything in one sitting, like it's impossible. So go get food, do something fun with your friends, like watch Netflix, like just relax and everything will be okay. <sighs> like really sweating, sorry. But I'm, I don't know why I'm like so hot, okay. Next thing I recommend is getting lots of sleep. I'm someone who can't go without my sleep. I am really cranky and I can't function and things like that. But I also don't drink coffee. And I think you should tr like try not to depend on coffee. Um, but just get sleep. Like don't, um, it's not worth it to stay up all night studying and then getting no sleep and then having to go take an exam because you're not gonna remember anything when you're just trying to cram it in and you'll like you won't be able to focus I don't even know I can't function when I don't have sleep so it's important just it's not worth it to just um, pull an all-nighter and whatever just get sleep you'll wake up feeling good maybe you can study more before your test and yeah so those are all of my main tips um, but I just wanted to say like all of us we're all going through it and we're all gonna get through it together and everything's gonna be okay. One test, one bad grade is not the end of the world. And I know sometimes it might seem like that, but it's okay, you just need to breathe. And just stay positive and persist and know that you can do it. Just speak positive thoughts, like you're gonna learn this information and make it seem less intimidating. Like there's only, like at least you know what you have to know, I guess. You can just lay it out and take it one by one and everything will be okay. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, good luck on your exams. We're all gonna get through this together and I know you guys are gonna do good. So if you guys aren't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, it would mean the world and it would help me out a lot. Also follow my social media. Um, good luck on your finals and your exams. <laughs> and then summer will come, yay. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.